Chicago, Windy City. Not named because of the weather. Because the people, well, they're always blowing. Selling blow, trying to make money blowing people. Just plain blowing things off. Like today, I was only in the office because somebody blew off our appointment. It's about to call it quits when trouble blew in. Her legs, well, they went all the way up. She had the kind of face to get songs written about, but her eyes, they said it all. She'd make you love her all night long. But by morning, break your Wow, quick to judge, are we? Think whatever nasty thoughts you want, but keep them to yourself. Whew. She was tough, like jerky. <laughs> Not as she thought I was, but a jerk. <laughs> you got that right. Anyway, I got a case for you. That's what you do here, isn't it? Solve cases. Suitcase. Briefcase. Bookcase. Only thing that matters about a case is what's inside of it. Take that as a yes. Smart Dan. Worst kind. Like a dog that's figured out he gets to go outside. Did you just call me? Just picks up the leash. Look, I have reason to believe my husband is having an affair. I want you to follow him and find out where he goes at night. My suspicions are correct. Domestic but... case. Kind that end up being easy as pie or hard as pie. <laughs> the math kind. A whole bunch of numbers that don't make any sense until the very end. I didn't have her number yet. She obviously had mine, otherwise, how would she have found me? Do you always have to speak entirely in metaphor? <sighs> metaphor. It's a lot like a simile. <laughs> Sounds smarter than it really is. And a lot of the people in this business. I'll take that as another yes. So will you take the case or not? Business was slow. And rent was past due, so I took the case. He gets off work at 9, 815 Chestnut Street. We'll be back on Friday to assess what you have found. Dames, love to see him go. Love to watch him. It's no wonder you're here all night. This is how you treat women. You piss off another girl, man? <laughs> Mac had been my partner for five years. We knew each other so well, we might as well have been brothers. brothers. Yeah, I know who I am. You don't need to explain that every time I come in. <laughs> then again, Claudius and King Hamlet were brothers too. You know what I think? It's the monologue. It's scaring off the clients. I mean, I've gotten used to it, but it's got to sound really weird to an outsider. Mac has worked with me so long, he'd gotten used to the way I spoke. Still, he sometimes drag that old top guy out of the attic, like the uh, fancy silverware you only use when the in-laws are in town. Okay, that one was a little stretched. My metaphor skills were uh, not at the uh, forefront of their possibilities that day. Oh, since you always have to speak in past tense and metaphors, it's, it's ominous. It's like you're out of sync with the rest of us. It's like you're some omnipotent god, and you have everything all planned out. And you're just waiting for it to fall into place. God damn it! I got me doing it. That sounded worried, like you had some idea or uh, <laughs> suspicion that something bad would happen that night. God, if only you'd known. Wait, what? What's gonna happen? He was getting angry. <laughs> Poor dog. God damn it, quit being so obscure. For once in your life, could you just speak normally instead of narrating everything? I wanted to speak to him like a normal person, like somebody who lives in the real world and not some ethereal narrative, abstract void, but providing context to some godlike observer. But I couldn't. I could only do what I was created to do, narrate. 
<laughs> Screw this. I'm out of here. Consider our partnership over. I stormed out like a... like a storm. <laughs> <laughs> Doing stormy things. I was all shook up. My metaphor skills, well, they weren't at the top of their game. They were down near the bottom, actually. Maybe if they had been at the top of their game, you wouldn't have stormed out like that. And we could have been partners just a little bit longer. <laughs> but that was just a dream, not the sleep kind. It's something I hope to do kind. <laughs> a dream that I couldn't live, because despite how hard I tried, I just couldn't stop monologuing. <laughs> <laughs>